Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get started with Remedy 2, which is one of our latest deals, and I know it's been fairly popular, so I wanted to do this quick video showing you how to get started with it. Before we get started checking this one out, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. So to get started with Remedy 2, you're going to load it into your DAW as an instrument. So here I'm using Studio One there, and I've loaded Remedy 2 up into my DAW now. I'm also going to load in Contact. You can load any instrument in here, any synth, any VST instrument, sample library, whatever. The point is that we want Remedy 2 to trigger the instrument. So we're going to set our instrument input to Remedy 2. So that is accepting the signal from Remedy 2 and it will be triggering our instrument. So I'm just gonna load up a piano. Now the point of Remedy 2 is to be a MIDI sampler. You know how we would make a beat and use samples of previously recorded material well, instead of taking that actual wave file and sampling the actual audio, what we're doing is sampling MIDI. So here we have our main interface, and what we're going to do is go over here, and it comes with all these different MIDI files to get you started. Some of these are popular songs that you are probably aware of. <laughs> Some of them are originals. Some of them are just chords and progressions and stuff like that. As you can see, they're organized by category here. We have Johann Sebastian Bach, Beethoven, stuff like that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just open up something. Let's go with jazz because I used a piano, which would be a nice piano, jazz piano sound. So here I'm going to go and just take this. Now by default, I'm just going to go back to none. By default, uh, this will play a sine wave. You can hear that right there. If you go here into the settings, we can go ahead and turn that off. Now we hear nothing. So again, what we're going to do is go over to my contact instrument. This right here, just hover over it. It says instrument input. This will be slightly different for every DAW. So, you know, definitely pay attention there. It's usually going to be right here. One of these, if you hover over it, or if you have some sort of helper option, it's going to tell you what those are. So I'm going to take that and put it from Remedy 2. So once we've loaded up this file here, you can increase the size down here and you'll notice that it plays a lot more of the actual song. And also, each section is going to be mapped to a different key. So if you look here, as I play different keys, it's going to scroll through each section of that song, sort of like this. Um, there's a lot of different possibilities here. I really highly recommend you go and look at the overview from the actual developer because honestly, MIDI and sampling is not my total forte. So this is just a quick look how to use it, how to get up and started with it, and then definitely go check out the tutorial from the developer, which is going to be here on the Song Wish uh, YouTube page, and I will link that in the description. So definitely go check that out. Thanks for checking this one out with me. Quick overview for you guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.